honest, I kept having these dreams, like these bad dreams. <gasps> I felt like something was watching hey, me. Hey. What? No, no, no. No, there's something something there. Like, Where? actually, something was just there. Where? In the window. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another paranormal investigation all the way out here from the wonderful Abbeville, South Carolina. Now, today I've got my good friend, Lee Triana Brown, and her husband, Matt. And today, these two lovely people are gonna be helping me on this investigation of the Belmont Hotel. It's super haunted. This place has graciously given us the most haunted bedroom in the hotel for free to spend the night in and document the paranormal, which is what we're going to be doing. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Lee Triana, she is on my TV show. We work together on Repossessed, which you guys can watch on Hulu, and she's a very talented psychic medium. I've had her in videos in the past. So, smash the like button. I'm gonna leave their information in the links below if you guys wanna check them out, whatever their socials are. You guys can go follow them. Now, what we're going to do today is investigate this hotel and sleep the night. So I'm going to be documenting even sleeping in this haunted ass hotel. I can't wait to do this. Smash the like button. Let's get on with this adventure. So right now I have Jim standing behind the camera. He is the owner of this hotel and he's going to tell us a couple of the paranormal happenings that have happened to him here and experiences. Hey Jim, welcome to the channel. Hey Mo, how's it going? Tell me, what kind of paranormal stuff have happened here to you? Well, we have a wide variety of paranormal things that happen to us here. And it happens so often that it's no big deal anymore. It's just like a regular thing. You're just used to it now? Yeah. Uh, some folks like y'all came in early on uh, and they shared with us how the spirits here were all positive and that they had, the they being the spirits, yeah. had expressed to the investigators how much they liked my wife and I because we accepted them. Yeah. And uh, we really cared about the end. I mean, I, I believe it too, because like from the moment I walked in here today, you guys have been so like nice and hospitable and yeah. so great. So, I mean, it's, it, you know, it's only fitting that the spirits think the same thing. One experience that really stands out is I was in room number four and it was a couple of weeks before a paranormal investigation convention was coming up. One night I woke up and I just happened to look at my watch and it was 3 a.m. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, 3 a.m., right? Yeah. And I looked to this way, and on the wall was a spot about this wide, about like that, and it was glowing bright as the sun. Oh wow! I mean, bright as the sun, it, uh, like an orb. Maybe it was beautiful, bright, lit up the whole room. So, because I had experienced so many things before here, it really didn't bother me. I just went right back to sleep. <laughs> You're like, yeah, there's an yeah. orb in my room, but I'm just going to yeah. go back to bed. Yeah. So I woke up the next morning and I rolled off the bed and put my feet down to put in my bedroom slippers. And my bedroom slippers were soaking wet. Oh, wow. Like they'd been dipped in a bucket of water. And there was no water, no, no drops of water anywhere around on the floor. And just right there in my slippers. That is interesting. That is, I've never heard of anything like that. And it was I've crazy. Done so many paranormal investigations. Yes, it, it was pretty crazy. Whoa. What should I expect tonight? You just really never know here. You really never know. Oftentimes, when we're really busy, part of what I do is work all three floors. We may be having a wedding going on on the first floor, something happening on the veranda. The downstairs area may be really busy, and my wife um, is the consummate hospitalitarian and she's always talking to people. And so I'm coming down these stairs one night when we were really, really busy. And it was a paranormal convention, it was here as a matter of fact, and they were having a costume ball. So I got to, to about this stair here, and my wife was standing here in the lobby, and she was talking to a guy who was dressed up like Dracula, and three women who were dressed up like Southern Bells. That's so funny. And the cool thing about it was the guy wouldn't talk. The guy would communicate through the Southern Bells. And my wife was telling the story, said, oh, hey, this is Jim, uh, he's my husband. You know, he's working tonight, uh, da, 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 da. So we talked a little bit, I, you know, I said, hello. And then so the guy went like this to talk to one of the girls. And the girl said, have you guys ever heard of a spirit here named Lydia? And my wife looked at me and said, Jim, you ever heard about Lydia? I said, no, I never heard of Lydia. And um, they stood there for a few seconds. I said, you know, guys, it's really nice to meet you, but I have to go. I turned to walk back up the stairs, and when I did, something hit me on the back of the leg. And you could hear it, I could feel it. 
Whoa. And I looked over here at my wife, the three women looked at her, and the guy that was dressed up like Dracula did this, and the little girl looked up and said, that was Lydia. late at night time right now it's about 10 p.m. we are beginning our investigation and I gotta tell you guys at night time this place looks pretty pretty cool let me show you guys a little town that there is here very old historic town there are tunnels running throughout this entire place underground and as you guys can see this is the downtown area it's not that big of an area but it is very old dating back to like the 1700s now there is a really popular story in this town there's actually a memorial for it just down that way there was a man here um you know an african-american man he was actually hung stabbed and shot over 200 times by 300 people that lived in this town way back in the day because he got into an argument with an older white man and the older white man was selling cotton seeds and he didn't want to sell the cotton seeds to the black man that wanted the cotton seeds therefore they got into an argument the black man went to jail because of that. Of course, right? He goes to jail out of all things. And then eventually the town, or 300 people from this area, went into jail, took him out of there, and stabbed and killed him repeatedly, and then eventually hung him on a tree for the whole town to see. He was a very, very wealthy man. And for them to do that is just tragic. That's just one of the many stories in this area that could be the reasons to why this whole area is really haunted. Keep in mind there's also a lot of battles that took place nearby, but there are also ghosts that are living inside of the hotel, which hopefully I can uncover some of the secrets to why they're in the hotel, why they're stuck there, and I really want to try to be able to communicate with the widow. My friend Triana tells me about the black widow, she roams the hallway. So me and Aldo, we are staying in room 16, supposedly the most haunted room in this hotel. I'm gonna take you guys up there right now to show it to you. Now we are gonna be sleeping in that room, which is, Kind of scary, but at the same time, I think we'll be okay because there's two of us. All right, guys, here it is, room 16. Supposed to be the most haunted room inside yes, of this hotel. Yes, sir. This uh, should haunted be exciting. Room. We've actually already been in here. Yeah. And uh, took a little nap earlier because I definitely needed it. I didn't really have anything paranormal happen while I was taking a nap, but I was very, very tired while I was doing this. So hopefully we get some type of paranormal out here later tonight because we will have our cameras rolling too. But right now what we're gonna be doing is going through the hotel, trying to see if we can capture anything paranormal. It is still a little bit early, like yes, it's like 10 o'clock, but there are still people awake. There's I think like eight people that are occupying rooms inside of the hotel. Did that just turn on? By itself? Yeah, I didn't touch it. Wait, actually? Yeah. I missed that, I wasn't filming. Yeah, that just literally turned on by itself. I didn't, I didn't touch it, absolutely. No, no, I know, you're standing right there. Yeah. I'm watching you. <laughs> what, that's so weird. Yeah, and here's the thing though. That's um, weird. Didn't, uh, didn't Lee Triana tell us about that happening in this room? Probably, or some yeah, was yeah, some lady yeah. some lady a TV kept turning off and on throughout the night yeah. and it wouldn't stop until she left or something like that yeah it's pretty weird I mean yeah I mean that's weird right it's already we, started we've been here all, all we've been here all day like legit we've been here since like 1 p.m. nothing like this has happened yet and the fact that it's happening now oh boy like as soon as the lights go out yeah something like this wants to start up all right thank you spirits Can you guys give us a little bit more to... Room is haunted. Oh, it is the most haunted room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, It'd be man. cool if you could change the channel. <laughs> yeah, can you give us something to actually watch there, Ghosty? Yeah. If you could change it. the channel, that would be amazing. Come on, Ghost, change the channel. <clears throat> okay, so this is crazy that this has happened already. We have a, a basement in this building that's apparently really terrifying. The, the, you know, the average person that rents a hotel room doesn't get access to it but we do, all thanks to Jim. So we're gonna go and check out the basement right now. Also the carriage house where a man was murdered. So Matt's gonna show us how to get to the basement. I still haven't been to it yet. I've been around the hotel during the daytime, you know, interviewing, talking to people, and uh, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna get there right now. So we got a, a nice little 
little short vent here that a lot of people don't even realize it's here until they get around these corners. Oh. It's a little fire escape. The fire escape. Matt yeah. used to work here, by the way. I don't know if I told you guys this. He used to work here when he was a... How old were you? Uh, well, I was supposed to be 18, but I was actually 15. So. Oh, so you lied. Yeah. I did that for a job one time. I was an ice cream man. Supposed to be 12, but I was 11, so I lied. I got the job. Then I quit two weeks later. <laughs> Literally starting off this haunted adventure by making our way down to the basement. This is a treat for you guys. I don't know if you've ever watched a video about the Belmont Hotel before. If you have, this is for housekeeping. Oh, it just keeps going. This keeps going. Damn, this feels like longer than it actually is. There we go. Oh, they left it on lock for us, which is perfect. Thank you, Jim. Whoa. This is cool. Yo, it is hot in here. Hello, spirits. Got, it's a creepy basement. You got a light? Oh, go for it. Yeah, we got a light. So keep in mind, there are tunnels. I don't think there's any tunnels connected to this building, but it's possible that there was at one point, but they closed it off. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Is this it, is this it for the building, for the basement? What's that? Is this it for the basement? Or is yeah. there more? Over here is the um, control room for the elevator. What is this place? This is the basement, dude. Hey, yep. look, it's almost Christmas. This whole town has so tunnels. Cool. This whole town has tunnels connected underneath it. Really? And I wouldn't be surprised if at one point in time there was an actual tunnel from the, from the basement here that was closed off. Well, yeah. the tunnels are there probably there. was at one point, right? You, yeah, if you look along these lines and all these walls, you'll probably see like newer brick, newer mortar. I wonder if there is actually. I want to take a look at that. Anything weird ever happened in here? Oh, this is like a, a little so tunnel a in here. People, yeah. Oh, this is for the elevator. That's all that is. But yeah, guys, as I was saying, I wouldn't be surprised if there was like some sort of tunnel system connected to this building, but it was like um, closed off because under the entire town, there's like miles and miles of tunnels, apparently. Okay. I stayed out of this basement just because I didn't want to be, I got that ominous feeling when yeah. I first came down here. Yeah. So I really didn't get in, in down here that much. All right. um, I know what you're talking about. Like, I know what you mean by that. Yeah. You kind of feel that heaviness yeah, when yeah, you're down yeah. here. Okay. Imagine working here and like your boss is like, hey, go down the basement and do a bunch of Christmas trees for me and make them right. Oh my God, while you're like shivering and yeah. you're so scared. Yeah, yeah, and it's like the, the most terrifying basement ever. Let me know, would you guys spend the night here? Down in the basement? I don't know about you guys, but a laundry facility always like looks haunted. Yeah, I just hate being clean. No, it's not even about that. But I always feel like like in movies and stuff, in the laundry section is where people like get killed. No, it just looks really scary, dude. It's uh, definitely easier to clean up your mess. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> hey, Lydia, are you with us? What's up? An employee? What is that? What's that? That's coming from the laundry room. Or no, that's the vending machine. Right? Oh, the vending machine just started going. That's the ice machine. Oh, the ice machine. Whoa, out of nowhere. <laughs> As I was just trying to talk to Lydia. Uh, Lydia, Lydia, did you make the ice drop? <laughs> yeah, seriously, what the hell? Okay, no, we're laughing it off as if it's just a joke, but literally, I'm like, hey, Lydia, what are the odds of that? Right after I got. That is weird. Right after you said that. Yeah. Damn. Thanks, Lydia. Like, if you walk up, apparently she follows you and you can hear something like walking behind you. So, as you guys can see, I'm walking very quietly. Nope. So not right now. But they said it happened at three o'clock in the morning. All right. So like you want to stop like halfway. Halfway. See if she meets you. Hey Lydia, come meet me halfway. Meet me halfway. All right, I'm here halfway. Well, you have to sing. No, you don't have to sing. <laughs> Look at the uh, what is that? Look at that reflection in the mirror. Wait, what is that? Somebody just come in. I don't see anyone. Dude, we heard a door open. Yeah, look, there's no one. 
didn't see him. Wait. It sounded like somebody came in. It sounds just like somebody came in. That's yeah. There's no way there. Also, that watch is. Is that watch. Is there a wind here? Yo, family. It literally sounded like somebody just came in. What the heck? You see that? It's like moving. Is it? Yeah, you see that? A little bit, yeah. Like a little bit. Yeah, this watch is. Did somebody go to the elevator? Let me decide to die. Hello? Anyone here? So, in this room here. Apparently they do capture a lot of paranormal activity. So we're gonna spend some time here with some EMF meters throughout the night. The SLS camera, obviously. What room? This is like a restaurant or what? Uh, okay, I don't know, it's like a, a pub. It's like a little private dining area. You private can sit down here, you can, it's, you can bring your drinks on. So if you guys do manage to spot anything behind the scenes or orbs of any kind, let me know in the comments below. Um, I, you know, a lot of times I miss stuff. I mean, it's understandable, right? We're filming and I'm always like editing in my head while I'm filming. So sometimes we do miss stuff in real life. So if you guys see it, obviously pin it down in the in comments there? below. Okay guys, we're gonna go around the building right now because apparently, this is what's told to us by Matt, Litriana's a husband, that, um, keep in mind, he used to work here, so he knows all the stories about this place. So apparently throughout the windows, um, our room is actually on the opposite side, but throughout the windows, you can see blinds opening and closing, opening and closing. So let's see if we can see something opening and closing some of these rooms. Our room is on the opposite side. That is room number three, where apparently years ago when Matt was working there, he witnessed the weirdest thing ever. It was his first paranormal experience where basically he used to be, you know, um, a waiter, or not a waiter, but he used to work in the hotel. So whenever somebody would order room service, he would bring it to your door. So this couple that was on their honeymoon, they were sleeping up in room number three and they called in for some uh, champagne. So he brought the champagne to the room and one of the guests, he's like, hey, your maintenance guy is still in our bathroom. He's been there for a while. And then Matt was like, what are you talking about? It's the weekend. We don't have maintenance guys on the weekend. So they go into the bathroom. There's no maintenance guy. Long story short, the honeymooner experienced a, a paranormal entity of a massive proportion in his bedroom and Matt was there to witness the guy's reaction when this happened. Like this wasn't something they were filming. The guy was just there doing a job and he experienced his first paranormal when he worked here. So he tells us always pay attention to the windows. You never know what you find. This is what, the, dude, it's like a ghost town out here. Yo, this place is so creepy. Right? So Matt went to go get Litriana. She's done her meeting. They're gonna come down. They're, I think they're filming together right here too. So I'm gonna leave Lee's stuff down below. Um, it's really cool. Husband and wife, they film together. They paranormal hunt together. But I wanna show you guys what this town looks like. This is so cool. All right guys, you might've noticed the quality just got better. I switched out of my GoPro. My GoPro is just not doing the job for what I wanna film. I mean, look at the big difference you're seeing in lighting at this time at nighttime. Yeah, look how much better I look like in that camera. Dude, so much brighter and so much better. So anyways, we were trying to say that like when it comes to the paranormal stuff, um, apparently on the floors, like some of the floors down here, uh, it's weird because these aren't, I don't think these are all bedrooms. And on some of these rooms, or I should say bedrooms, whatever these rooms are. Guys, honestly, I don't think there's a black widow. There's got to be something, dude. Like, it, like that blue window right there, that's where apparently it all happens. So like, Maybe at 3 o'clock, maybe at 2 a.m., maybe at 1, I don't know. It is like almost midnight right now. Maybe. But you just never know. All so, wait, what do you mean something was watching when you were sleeping? Like, I was trying to sleep earlier. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it just, I kept having these dreams, like these bad dreams. <gasps> I felt like something was watching hey, me. Hey. What? No, no, no. No, there's something, something there. Like, Where? actually, something was just there. Where? In the window. That's, that's our f***ing bedroom. You caught something in the window? I swear to God I caught something in the bedroom. Oh God, I wasn't feeling it. You were, you were on it? I was just talking. I was talking to them about how I couldn't sleep tonight. Dude, 
What happened? What do you mean? Bro, I was trying to sleep and then every time I got close to sleeping, it felt like like the closer I got to falling asleep, the closer it felt like something was gonna come and get me. So what the hell did we just see in our room, dude? Did you saw it in our room? I gotta review that footage. No, like, like actually, something just walked. I don't know if it was a shadow from a car outside, but we were told this room that's lit blue is where you see things. But that's our room there. I'm pretty sure that's our room. Yeah, that is. You said you saw something in our room? It looked like. Let's review our footage. Okay, we, we, we were let's filming too, okay. no? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was. I just reviewed my footage, bro. There was something up in there. That wasn't a shadow. That, that wasn't a shadow from out here. There was something up in there. Really? Yes. Bro, what the hell was that? It was, it was like a shadow. Did you get it on your camera too? Because I'm pretty sure I got it on my camera. I'm still looking at my footage. Because I don't remember what it happened. I wasn't looking at you, remember? What the hell, dude? All right, we're going to go up there right now and investigate that. that that's, that's our room. Like, that is literally our room. Room number 16. That's where 16 is. Exactly right there. I wonder if that was the Black Widow, honestly. Bro, I got it on my camera. You got it? Yeah, I got Seriously? my camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that is room 16. Let's get the hell up there right now. Yo, I will I will not be able to sleep tonight. There is no way. <laughs> Yo, if that was actually our room, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. That's 14. Yeah, 16 is our room. Yo, this, that was our room. This is our room. That was our room, bro. That was literally, look. That's where we were standing. That that's room? literally where we were standing. Are you kidding me? That's exactly where we were standing. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Wait a minute. The bathroom door's open. Hey, is anyone in there? Anyone there? There's no way someone's hiding behind here. Hey, you have three seconds to come out. Oh, uh, no one's there. Bro, that was a ghost. What that the? That was straight up a ghost Yo, in we our room. Yeah, caught that in camera. Yeah. <laughs> we literally caught a ghost in our room. Oh, oh my god, we I just caught we a caught ghost that. in our freaking room. Yo, we gotta go tell Lee and Matt. Let's go. Have to, let's go. Bro, there's no way we just got that on camera. Yo. What's up, guys? Um, are you guys still working? Uh, she's finishing up. So. Yeah, yo, finishing up. I'm home yo, so, sorry to bother you, but we actually just caught an apparition in our room on camera. What? Like, we caught an apparition in our room on camera. Like, like it looked like a black widow type of figure walking by the window. What? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, and I missed this stuff. Yeah, oh you, no. Yeah. I have it on camera. Turned the TV on before. When we were all in there together, the TV turned on earlier. See? But we, but we were outside looking at windows and stuff because we were told like you could see things coming through the whole building and something walked through our room. Oh my god, I gotta see that. And I think something followed us back from that cemetery. Possibly. Because I've got, you know, weird stuff happening in here. I, that's why I called Matt back in here because I didn't want to be by myself. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I don't like it. It's pretty scary in here. Yeah. So we were in a cemetery before we came here. I, I made a vlog about it. We went to the cemetery. There was like a Bigfoot sighting and everything like that. It's really strange. But you guys have been here the whole time? Yeah, we've been right here. What? Since I left you guys from the basement. Man, that is freaking wild. All right, guys, we are making our way to a room that actually experienced a murder years ago. This is called the dirt room now, but it's actually used to be the carriage house back in the day. They used to bring in carriages and everything in here, and somebody was actually murdered, but I'm going to let Lee Triana tell us that. So, you know, somebody was murdered in here. Yeah, I do. Actually. He wasn't actually murdered here. He was captured out right here. And yeah. they captured him and drug him outside and made sure it was very public. No way. Mm -hmm. He was looking with the uh, carriage But why did they want to make it? Guy. Why did they want to make his death public? Well, he's uh, he was part black and he was in love with a white woman and they were going to run away together. It was during the Civil War. Oh crap! And um, she told her it was either her cousin or her sister. I heard this on a history tour. It's a big surprise to me. But then when I investigated here, I got some evidence to collaborate. So, oh, nice. But I don't have any documents to, you know, like yeah. history. Yeah. Right. But I can just tell you what I heard. But right over here, there was carriage parked and he was dealing with the carriage. 
and um, the brother. So he, he would take care of the carriages. Yeah, he was like like a parking attendant mm. for the carriages. Okay. And then um, they they captured him and drug him outside and. Uh, what was he, that? Yo, what the hell was that? What was that? That came from behind Lee, not What's over there. The... This way? Yeah. That came from back here. I, I thought I heard it down here, right? Yeah, it was on this side. What the hell? There it goes again. What is that? Stay quiet, everybody. What would it be? Right? Yeah, we all heard it. What? I know that this is a storage room and everything, but the history here. Yeah, that was strange. Sorry, guys. Yeah. What? Yo, so far some weird things have happened. Here too, Dude, we caught a shadow. A shadow figure person. walk across the yeah, room. Yeah, look at Yeah, you were some type of operation. Insane. And now this weird sound. Hey, I missed that. No Again, you guys can see how the carriage would come in through here before this wall was here. This is a new wall that was erected. But, you know, they bring in the carriages. The carriage guy would take care of the carriages. And, unfortunately, he was dragged out of here and killed. That's pretty sad. Because of the dumbest reason ever. Like, imagine falling in love with someone and then dying because of that. Oh. Right? So, they, they captured him right here. And um, I had my SLS camera here. And you could see them fighting as if it were, they were stuck in time or maybe it's a residual haunting. And they pulled him out. And then they um, drug him out of town after they beat him up, and then he was never seen again. What the heck? Um, on the other side of this pole here, there was still one of the original carriages. And it was it was amazing. It had the big tall wheels on it. It was like the, the Wells Fargo carriage, you know. Mm. And uh, What happened? It was, I, don't, I don't know. Somebody obviously took it. I hope they restored it because it was, you know, an amazing piece. And yeah, maybe they sold it. Um but it had the nice oh, crushed velvet it? seats inside. You got in. It had windows oh. that would come up and down. It was it was amazing. Man, that's beautiful. Come back. What did you see? I think she just caught something on her SLS. It was standing up high. Go I'm going to get my SLS. So. It might not have been standing high. It might have been standing on top of that carriage. That it we might have been because that's where the carriage was, what you were just saying. Yeah, it was right on the other side of this pole, right right along through here. So. Oh, oh, oh. What? So let's make sure that we're apologizing to what's here. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We offended you. We apologize. That's we true. still would like to talk to you. Hey, buddy, it's okay. I'm we're sorry. We're sorry if we disturbed you. Come on, Alder, look. Well, come on, he's... There. See how it pops yeah, up yeah. and then he runs. Pops up and then he runs. Hey, dude. Listen, I know that you were probably called mulatto, and I am too. Mulatto? Mulatto. What that is that? was a term used in South, uh, the southern part of the United States. If you weren't white and you were mixed with anything, you were mulatto on every census record. Y'all, I'm getting all kinds of chills <clears throat> just now. Mulatto. Look, you know, it was, kinda, sounds kind of nice. Haley, do you see anything here, like using your psychic abilities? I feel something here, and I feel like, look, I'm just getting covered in goosebumps. Yeah, I can see that. Holy wow. I'll tell you something. I feel like my back hurts. I bet you do. I don't see anything right now. It feels like he's hiding from us. Matt, what do you feel? What do you feel? Why are you hiding? Oh. He was right here. What was that? What do you mean? I'm way over What here. happened? Something just touched me on the back right Seriously. here. Don't Seriously? You just got scratched, too. It didn't she hurt touched me, her. but I, it felt, it's cold. Feel it. Right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Feel her shirt. It's actually cold on her shirt. Why is it so what, cold? What the hell? Like ice. Yo, Yo, something is here, man. I'm telling you, this is where I got scratched. And this is where something got thrown, too. That was my behind. Something, something touched her behind? Here. Yeah. 